Hi guys, today I want to discuss on how to do secondary axis plotting using new plot. So this is my first attempt. So in the first attempt, I will tell you there are three files: one.txt, two.txt, and secondary axis.gnu. And in the one.txt, there are three columns. The third column is the x-axis. The first column is the y-axis values, and the second column is the error bar values. And in the same way, 2.txt, there are three columns in the similar fashion. Now, I have already written the script on how to do the plotting. So, this is the script for doing the new plot. But let us do from scratch. So, first, what I do is I reset all the commands that are set previously and I set the terminal I set the terminal to SVG format which is a vector plots and I give the following size 1300 by 900 but you can give any size which are better for your plots and I use enhanced font times new roman 30 so that I can do uh, special symbols and other things as such and I set the output file so that I can save the plotting in a file that is 1.svg and I set the border line width to 2 later I set the line styles and the point types so I use the set style command I give for the line 1 I give the color, line color, line type line width, point type and point size. I do all these things and later after setting the line 1 and line 2 colors I give the set error bars 0.5 size so that they are not thick enough but they are clear to see. And later in the plot command this is the following plot command which I use. So here I give no title with y error bars and I give for line style 1 so this is the line style 1 which I am using and I plot this in axis x1 y1 and I give comma and backslash and I do enter so this is to continue the same command plot so that I can plot 1.txt and 2.txt in the same figure now I do the same thing here and I give here axis x2 y2 after I plot without setting y range and the y2 range I got this following plot and this plot is not set clearly because this axis also controls this axis so which is not correct so what we do is we go to the second attempt so in the second attempt I set the x range, x2 range, y range and y2 range so here the x range is 0, 1 and the x2 range which I give here is also 0, 1 and the y range is from 0 to 150 based on the data I have I am using you can set any y range you want and later I set the y2 range to 0 to 130 and then I give the set ticks to point uh, to scale to 0 0.75 so that the ticks are also not very thick but they are very nice to look now I set the y grid ticks and I set the x grid ticks so that you will have grids in the plot you are having and now I set the y ticks no mirror so that the ticks on y2 axis are not affected by the range set in y1 axis so this no mirror helps in doing that and I do this following command set y2 axis and then I do new plot dot one gnu and I get this following plot so you can see when I use no mirror this axis is not controlled by this axis and this makes the plot very much clearer to understand and use it so I will set the axis labels in this following thing so what I do here is I go here back again and 
here I give the labels by using the offset command so I use the set x label I use the set x label I give bold so that this uh, font is in bold and I use the offset command 0 0 0.50 0. so for x label this is the y distance from x axis so that it is far from the y uh, x axis and I use a set y label command and I use bold primary data and I use the offset command to 0 comma 0 so I get in this uh, so I use x distance from y axis so this is what I did and I now set the y2 label in the similar fashion I give secondary data offset by minus 2.5 so that it comes closer so now let's plot it and see how the figure looks like so this is how the figure looks like so you can see that this the secondary data primary data and the number is has been labeled so what I do right now is I didn't give this rotate by 270 degrees but if you rotate that uh, by 270 degrees you will see the following change you see this change so when I use this command this actually change from this to this now uh, let's use dash type so I previously I didn't give line style one dash type this I didn't I didn't use this command here so when I use this command so you see that this error bars are actually changed into a dash type and this dash type actually causes this changes in the new plot so this is how you can make beautiful figures using new plot for secondary axis thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions please leave a comment and like this video and subscribe to our channel